of the coverage of the protests of the Olympic torch relay that are going on in many places. What do I think of that? I, I mean, obviously for Germans it's interesting because we've come to see the U.S. as a, per, uh, a reactionary uh, country, more or less. And it's, it strikes me as an interesting piece of news that really the most uh, creative and also the most massive protest is in the U.S., or was in the U.S. And I heard today that in Buenos Aires there were thousands of people, you know, really cheering uh, the, the athletes carrying the torch. And I would have loved to know why that is the case. I mean, is there a sort of special traditional friendship between Argentina and, uh, and China? Or is there just so much police that protesters wouldn't even get close to them, to the torch? I don't know that. That would be the typical piece of background information I think they should have delivered and they didn't. Yeah. Well, I think it's uh, it's uh, important uh, to to give this uh, uh, a situation. Uh, um, uh, let me just a second. I, 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 I try to find the right words yeah. because I'm not I'm not used to to, to talking English. <laughs> That's okay. Well, um, it's important uh, that uh, that people can can tell their. Their meanings and their, and, their, and their impressions about that. I think it's important that uh, that the, the politicians in China uh, notice that there isn't uh, that there isn't everything okay. They have to do. They have to change something. I don't think that that's a good idea uh, to uh, uh, to go not to to, to China to. to uh, uh, to, to boycott, to, to, to boycott this. No, I, I think it's not a good idea. But I'm very, yeah. Let's say I'm. I'm. Uh, uh, I don't know what 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 role the Olympic Committee will will play in this in this mm -hmm. field. And therefore, I think it, it's. Uh, how do you call it? It's. Uh, it, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I missed okay. the words. I can't tell you what what, <laughs> what I really meant. That's okay. I think it's okay. It's yeah. covered okay. Yes, I I see it, and I don't think it's bad. So they are doing a good job. It is just coverage of protests. It's not coverage. There's no at, at all. There's no coverage about backgrounds, and that's the problem. So you only see protests. Okay, protests like any other protest. But this is nothing which interests me very special because I'm interested in backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely no backgrounds at all. So the coverage is just on the surface. You mentioned that now you're working in PR. Yes. Um, what prompted you, I guess, to get away from television? So I had two steps. I, at first I went away from television to print. Mm -hmm. And then I went away from print to PR two steps. Okay. Uh, why away from television? Because more background in print. Yeah. Why away from uh, uh, print? Because background in print is decreasing too. Why PR? Because people are paying for background. It might be difficult for some television stations who are involved in the Olympic Games and they might I have problems with a uh, critical approach towards that issue. But uh, I'm quite satisfied about the, the reports that I saw on the international programs. That's okay. Um, you have to do it. Um, I think you, you, um, you have, um, concerning China, it, um, it's a lot uh, of things to do. Um, yes, it's... Um, but um, the people in Tibet, they have to be careful because the sympathy um, could go again to, to China if they make too much protest, mm -hmm. uh, slow. But uh, we have to, to report that that's okay. Um. Well, it's a very symbolic act, you know, walking with the flame uh, running uh, around the world. Uh, and because it's very symbolic, so it's very symbolic in a way, you know, to protest and 
use that symbolic act for transporting the the anger, no, not the anger, the the what is it in German, in English? To protest, you know, you use that symbolic flame running, I don't know what is in English, uh, um, to protest, you know, to make the world uh, open the eye for the, for the people. Um, and um, it should be done more, even more than it's been done so far. Uh, because it, it shows how Chinese people, or how, how Chinese, not people, but the, but the government really thinks, how, how the government really acts, uh, and it pulls off the mask a bit, you know, off, off the government's face, you know. Um, and that's important to know. It's even important to know for, for companies who want to invest in, in China to see that face, you know, of the government. Uh, and so it's, it has two sides, you know. Uh, um, on the one hand, to to protest against something and even maybe they boycott the, the Olympic Games or some, some people, some sportless uh, sports people uh, boycott the games and on the other hand actually changing something you know so that's the kind of hope people have you know that something will change through that because um, the Chinese government cannot go on like this uh, for let's say the next five ten years you know uh, so that kind of protest will change, I'm, I th I'm thinking of, or I, I'm convinced, you know, that um, it will change a bit, you know, at least. And so it's okay. So that's a difficult question. Um, I think, first of all, the protests are a little too late. They gave these Olympics to China. This was a big mistake. I think the protests that we are covering in the West has nothing to do with what the reception in, in, in China is. So it's really difficult for me to, to answer this question because I cannot really can tell you what, what, the, what the covering is and, and how the reception in, in, uh, in China, which should be the, the goal, yeah. the focus. Yes. I really, it's really hard for me to, to answer this question, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. That's all the questions, so. Kathleen. Very good. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yes, and you. Enjoy the rest of your night. It's a good nightlife in Cologne. <laughs>